Hello guys and welcome to part 2 of Forza Horizon 4. Yes, I have played roughly the first hour of the game and this will be the last part for now. I am playing the full game when it comes out, I promise. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a tease in the last episode about being a stunt driver. Well, it's about to happen. Yes, it is. Um, basically, um, I played this game. I went to the McLaren Center in Woking and played Forza Horizon. I'm a big F1 fan. I saw so many McLarens, uh, the cars Senna drove, uh, Lewis Hamilton drove. It was incredible, absolutely incredible experience. A little bit of stress with the embargo. It got changed apparently yesterday and I didn't get the, um, the email. Um, so that was slightly stressful, but the overall experience playing this game at that historic venue was a once in a lifetime sort of event. Um, so yeah, I do need a bit of help. What would you guys pick for my full series? When I do it, what car should I pick first? Turn Full focus. Right. Uh, Challenger? Is it the Challenger? I think it was. The Challenger and the TT. Let me know. And I'll uh, consider your comments. And there might be another vote in this episode. We have to get uh, an off-road car. And there's three options again. So I might need your help. Anyway, let's become a stunt driver. Sounds like a plan. All the cameras are ready. Ready to shoot. Probably for some sort of like James Bond film. Who knows? Chapter Here one. The stunt Future driver. Star of the silver screen. Hardly the doppelganger you promised. You having a laugh? They're like twins. <sighs> You'll do. Mike Steele, by the way. Today's shoot's a getaway scene. Head over to Broadway Village. We've got everything set up there. The kid better be as good as you say. He's good, all right. He's very good. Wow. Right, off to Broadway. And step hey, this is a car. Lose the light. This is a car. So it's a race against time. Got a race roughly one mile in three minutes. That's doable. That's very easy. This car looks incredible. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I want it. It's a good-looking car. Also, very good looking open world. Uh, this episode should be in 4K as well. So, if you guys are watching 4K, feel free. If you've got a 4K mobile, oops. Sorry, wall. Sorry, very expensive car. Maybe a slight scratch on it. Apologies. Yes, you know, 4K. So, enjoy that. That was quick. Uh, right, let's get everything set up. There's actually a. We're going in at the deep end, but at least you look the part now. This is a classic car escape. The hero's being chased by a jet and escapes by jumping through an old windmill. Don't ask. If you're as good as Joel says, this should be no trouble. Hey, remember to breathe, kid. Just don't let it get away from you. I'll talk you through it, you'll be fine. I mean, what a car to drive. It's so early on in the game, and I'm always driving this. So I've got to be quick, and there's a big Hold jump to left, do. But keep your foot down. All right. Keep it down. Keep accelerating. Yep, that's a jet. Yep, that that that. Yeah, that's yep, okay. a jet plane. So what? You just keep that needle in the red. Maybe do some evasive maneuvers. So what, mate? I love seeing all the British signs. It's just so cool. We don't have um, Britain much in games, to be honest. It's all American, Australia. For now. Good. Now we've got Great Britain. This is all good stuff. Good. I'm, I'm glad you like the footage. Kids. We're not done. Keep it loose and fast up the hill, then back down. Still got the jump to do. Not over yet. So we've got a time, um, time remaining, and we've got a jump target. Blocked off ahead, so you're going to cut across the field. They'll add something in post. Crashed alien ship or something. A crashed it's alien all ship. Out for camera coverage, okay? You just line it up, floor it, and pray. I'm gonna pray. Oh, that failed. <laughs> My first attempt terribly failed. Thank God we can uh, we can go back. Whoops, that's embarrassing. <laughs> hey, eyes forward. Ignore the camera. Try to look heroic. I will try my best. Okay, this time we did it. Sorry about that. <laughs> Accidents happen. All right. A thousand. Wow. Everyone. The target was a hundred. You survived. Reckon you can do that again? 
I'll give your number to casting. Call you if there's another job. Oh, we impressed. We impressed. I'm guessing there's more chapters to this story. But eventually, we might see the whole movie. <gasps> that sounds good. I like, I like the sound of that. So we're slowly creeping towards autumn. We are very, very close. I'm now stunt driver level two, and I unlock some credits. Hey, Ten thousand credits. Nice. There's a lot of rumors flying around that you've landed a spot in a new movie. Make sure you save time to take part in the autumn season when you're rich and famous. I've got no you've idea got what you're talking Alex, about. One of our Horizon superstars. He's looking for new racers to take part in the dirt racing series. So there's dirt racing in this game as well, but we don't actually have a dirt car. So you can see what's about to happen. We get three cars to select from. We have to pick one. I always think there's a, there's a lot of pressure on this. Have to pick the right vehicle first. Have to nail it. Or try and make everyone happy, which is impossible. I know. But um, I went for a slightly unobvious one, I'd say. Similar to the TT, I think the Focus was the obvious option. But I went something different, so. Yards, That's what I did. Right. Should I cut this corner? No. That looks like a very turn wonderful right. field. I will go around it. It feels so weird driving on the side of the road. Why do I keep saying that? It's, it's what I do day to day. This makes no sense. I don't know why that is. You guys will understand if you come from Britain. Um, I see a lot of Mini Coopers in this game. I rarely see Mini Coopers out and about. I mean, the new ones, you do see those fairly often. Not the small ones, the original. Jeez. There we go. I'm getting a little bit nitpicky. But generally, it's a very good looking open world. It just looks gorgeous. I love the seasons. I can't wait to just progress and get the game in my hands and just play it. Right, time for our first off-road event. At your destination. I'm ready. Get you set up with some new tires. Come and see me after the race if you need anything else. Ah, it's you. I heard about the stunts you pulled for Joel. You know how to drive, don't you? Sorry, I'm Alex. I run dirt racing for the festival. Speaking of which, you'll need a car that can handle the dirt. Oh my god. These are some serious off road cars. Very impressive. Mm, but I went for the Lancia. You obviously know your stuff. I do. I mean, look, look at the rear of it. Look at it. How could I resist that? But the Impreza was there and the Escort. Both great cars. Don't get me wrong, but just had to go for this one. I might pick something, when I, something different when I get the full game, but yeah, I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. What would you guys pick? Or what should I pick? When we do the full series, let me know. Feel free to give me feedback. Hey everyone, right, Amy it's time to race. Okay, first dirt race coming right up. You go and enjoy yourself out there. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Don't worry about that. If a loose, a loose surface will make it slightly more tricky, but I'm up for the challenge. I think Great Britain does suit off-roading. So I think it's a, a, a good thing to have. Um, as long as there's enough street racing, I'm fine with it. Like, on the road racing. I'm completely fine. Goodbye fences, who needs those anyway? They're probably keeping in some goats. Now the goats are free. Bye bye goats. Some really, like, off the cuff, off road cars. This guy's being a bit aggressive. Fine, I'll stick to the grass, you idiot. Yeah, sorry about some of the names. Uh, that's just the, the dev kits or the devs themselves. Uh, the driver's tiles are back though, so you would notice friends and that in the game. I might say it goes Robo in the game. It's quite cool. Even if he hasn't actually played it, I think his driver's tile will still be in the game, which is cool. It just gives a little bit of character. Like, you may know that person and you want to beat them. You really want to beat them. Uh, so this is three laps. Currently fifth. Slowly climbing up that order slowly 
the AI, I would say the, 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 the AI in these events is slightly better. Slightly more aggressive, slightly faster overall. Now we're making progress. Now things are going well. Very good. Excuse me. Up into first. Look at that lake. This game's. I can't get over it. I keep saying it. It's just such a gorgeous looking game. And this is a perfect example of a reason to get the Xbox One X. It just is. It just. It just is. I still feel like PlayStation's had the better exclusives this year. Don't get me wrong, but this is. Oh no. Just lost my spoiler. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna cry. That's horrific. That, that's not very good, is it? Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh well. It completely changed the look of the car. And not in a good way. Not in a good way at all. Right, last lap. Can we finish this off? Oh, goodbye, brick wall. So far, I've destroyed fences, walls, people, my actual car. I'm a destruction monster. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Weird. Let's keep it going. Nice clean racing. I love when it says that. I mean, I can't exactly hit anyone, can I? If I'm, if no one's around, of course it's going to be clean. What a joke. Okay. It's, um, if he was on the fence, like, <laughs> that was so badly timed. I actually hit a fence. Uh, if you're on the fence about this game, I highly recommend it. Especially if you have an Xbox, if you like Horizon, if you like racing games, this should be on your list. On your Christmas list. Or your buying list. Just buy it. Honestly, it's so much good. It's Horizon's back. Motorsport, I'm a little yes. bit bored of right now. Force Motorsport. In the bag. How yes. Do you feel? Dirty. Brilliant. That is how I feel. I feel like a dirty man. Dirty. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. But yeah, like I said, if you're on the fence, recommend it. Perform like that again and you may just make it into round two. Was that a Scottish voice? I think it was. I'm now level two overall. Do we have a wheel spin? Remember, the more driving you do, the more you'll build your influence. Hey, Ricky. Fancy winning a prize? Here, have a wheel spin. I was hoping for a car. Damn it. Okay, 45,000 will have to do, won't it? Damn hey, it. I'm hearing good things about you. Oh, sorry. My name's Jay. I might have something that'll interest you. There's a street race meetup, and I think you should check it out. See you there. I'm up for that. So I don't believe... Yeah, this is the map. Look how cool just this map looks. Um, I don't believe this is actually like an official event. Uh, this is street racing. So it's not a official Horizon event. So it's a bit, um, yeah. 200 yards. Turn, left. Turn left indeed. So again, you got those, those balls around as well. So you can get cheap fast travel. There's a ball just down the left. Hey everyone, collect those. This Maybe is Amy fancy. Simpson with some official racing news. I am informed that our road series has progressed to round two. I say informed. What actually happened was Beck Dawson called me because she was so upset about having to cut so many drivers. But congratulations to the ones that got through. I don't feel bad, Beck. Let's see if I can cheer you up with some cheese here on board. You see that bush? I thought that bush wasn't going to move. I just went, what? Just flattened. That was quite cool though. I thought it was going to be like a solid bush. And it wouldn't move. But it did move. Uh, 1.8 miles. Let's go. It's a good chance to see the map. Um, in this, I guess, is it... Yeah, sunset, isn't it? I think. Yeah, I think so. But the sun is setting on the horizon on Great Britain. There's that windmill again. You can go straight. You can go round. I'm going to try and jump in here. So why not? Wee! Hell yeah! Don't mind me. Yep. As you explore, you you find areas, you find the roads. Ooh, that's a tree. That's a solid, solid tree. But perhaps I should have changed back into my. I should have changed into the TT, and then perhaps that would suit the street race a little bit more. 
come in on a throw car, so we'll roll with it for now. Time for our first ever street race. I'm down. I'm well down for this. You have arrived at your destination. You ready? Ready? Let's do this! Oh, it's you! You made it! I'm Jay, by the way. Alex wouldn't shut up about you, you know. If you drive half as well as he says you can, these guys will love you. Oh, before we start, you've got to know this isn't strictly sanctioned by the festival. So don't mention this to Kira, all right? I gotta go. Work to do. See you around, though, yeah? These might not be official, but you keep coming to these meets. I'll make sure everyone at Horizon knows your name. All right, I'm down. It's do a proper there. street race. Have fun now, yeah? Am I racing against a lorry? What's an actual truck? That is absolute madness. Look at that guy's name. What is that? I have no idea. I didn't realise the trucks could actually be in like a normal street race. I thought it had to be like a truck race. Little did I know. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a street race. Um, a sprint. It's not actually offic official Horizon business. So, uh, yeah. Whoops. Well, I'm down. Is that a Honda Civic? Yeah, that, that sounds about right. I've not seen any potholes yet, which is very unrealistic. We're known for our potholes. We rarely fix our roads. I've been down some roads and my poor car just gets absolutely battered. I'm pretty sure I hit one, hit one last year and the alignment in my wheel just went out. I had to get it fixed and that cost a fair amount of money. Yes, flashbacks are back in the game. And I, the amount of times I do that, I do a flashback and then I actually repeat what I just did. But yeah, that's great idea, Scott. I will probably turn flashbacks off. Probably want to get the full game, but I had a limited amount of time, so I wanted to get the stuff done. So I hope you guys accept my apology. Lots of balloons in the background. Actually, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Seeing the tractor, of course. I love, I love seeing the road signs. They just I feel like I'm at home. It feels great. You buy a TT? Yeah, I don't think this car is particularly suited for this race. I should have switched back to my my TT. Would have made a lot more sense, but it's fine. We will roll with it for now. It's all good. So this is more meant for off-road events. Again, another Mini Cooper. Why is there so many of those? You rarely see a classic Mini Cooper. Rarely. But somehow in this game you see them all the time. It's getting a little bit picky, but it's, it's true. Very tight corner coming up. There we go. Lovely. Lovely jobly. Keep it going. I'm not sure if we have time for another off-road event. I think we might have time. I don't know. There's a lot of Bentleys in this race. I'm in through. Is that a Peugeot 106 or 206? That's a classic. That's more of like an off-road car as well, really. Anyway. 95%, 96, 97, and we are done. First place. Got it right at the end there. So now we're going to upgrade our TT and also do a little bit of customization. So I want to apologize about this gameplay. Basically, it's tried to record HDR, and the recorder doesn't like HDR, and it looks a little bit flat in terms of color. This is not how the game looks, it's just how it got recorded. I apologize. You guys saw the initial part. That was fine. But this is this is not. So I've gone for this weird like chromey reflex look. I don't don't quite know, but it looks all right. I just picked a random design. So you've got license plates, license plates. You got car horns. Um, you could change so, the front bumper a garage, again. Obviously. Yes. It's where you come to work in your cars. Makes oh. sense so far. It does. It does make a lot of sense. So you can add front bumpers, spoilers, wheels, all that sort of stuff. I 
feel like there's, there's more options. I don't know if there is, though. Perhaps not. No, I think it's fairly similar. Yeah, I think so. Want to change your car's aerodynamics? Yes. Do that, here. that is a big splitter. Jesus. Lots of downforce. Means we can adjust it. And a spoiler, of course, as well. Of course. Most importantly, you can change out your tires and wheels here. So you can change it to all slicks. Uh, obviously, that's more suited for being on the road the whole time. But the grip levels do go up dramatically, as you can imagine. Tire width, you can make them as wide as you want. Not as wide as you want, but wider. Lots of grip, because that's the surface. That's what that's what touches the road. That's what touches the land. So you need as much grip as possible. Um, tires are always overlooked. Always Gears overlooked. Handling, probably the most important part of the car. Tuning, that kind of thing. Alongside perhaps brakes. Uh, do weight reduction. I do some basic things. I don't go through every aspect of customization, but just a quick little look. You keep shopping. Have fun. I'll tote up the price for you here. Just let me know when you're done. I'm done. That so costs 22,000 cost. credits. Look good. Ah! It's fairly expensive. Whoops. So now we're going to make a move. We're going to travel. You can use um, your skill point here to unlock car masteries. Every car has its own set, offering unique perks and bonuses. But skill points can be spent on any car you own. That's quite cool. So I guess you can have like a, a select vehicle you really like. You can put skill points into it Turn and make left. it godly. Um, again, the gameplay is still slightly screwed up here. I apologize. Um, that's not quite how the game's going to look in terms of the color. Just my recorder. Sorry. Um, but yeah, now it's got a spoiler. Now it's got the new tires. Got a front splitter. Which is very nice. She's dead good, isn't she? Some of the managers I've had couldn't get us a gig if their lives depended on it. But I bet she could get us three shows a night and get the van to all of them on time. Right, so Anyhow, basically what we're doing now is we're traveling to our first back. house. Now, uh, unfortunately after this, I have to cut the video because I can't just show you guys autumn. And it changes season to autumn. I can't show that. Which I know is annoying. I was allowed to play it, but I couldn't capture it. I know. All the suck. But, um, at least we get to watch this for a little bit. Um, we're going three miles, which is quite a long distance. We're going to get to the house, and then the gameplay will cut out. So let you guys just watch this. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys soon. Doing some landscaping. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to believe this. The film producers bought this house to use as a set. But when filming wrapped, they just left it. I had a word, and you know what? They said you could have the house for free as a thank you for your work on the movie. Excellent. Well, since this one's on the movie company, here's the keys.